Hello YouTube, my name is Gerald Fordham and welcome to my very first vlog on entertainment and what I enjoy and what's happening folks, Gerald here aka JFro90, um, not coming at you with a reaction, coming at you just with a thank you all very very much, I've been officially doing this, this behind the scenes this in front of the camera thing with YouTube for exactly a year now. Um, my first, I launched this channel September 21st, 2021. And um, my first two videos were September 22nd. And my first video, I believe was September 22nd. And um, in one year, in one year, I've gotten, I'm at 2000 subscribers. I'm in, in the YouTube partnership program, which is really cool, which is also really what I, I kind of hoped I would be able to get into, but not, I didn't expect it to be like this. <laughs> and, and two, I've really just connected with so many people in these comments and so many other creators too. And it's been a really, really interesting journey. And like I've mentioned many times in my videos in the last year, that's been really a mess and really complicated in my personal life. This has brought so much stability needed. And so I just absolutely had to get on here, not for a reaction purpose, but for a thank you purpose, for a thank you purpose for all of you who have supported me, who have, you know, gave tips, who have gave sponsor requests, it all, when I say at the end of my videos, it all means a lot, it all goes a long way, I am so dead serious, y'all don't even know, <laughs> y'all don't even know, them tips has help, have helped with groceries, them tips have helped with rent, <laughs> y'all don't know, y'all, it all goes a really long way, and I'm really appreciative, um, just, you know, gonna kind of tell my story a little bit, and uh, this, this is not, my first foray into YouTube. That has been many years in the making. My original channel is about 15 years old. And on there, I originally started doing videos after being inspired by the likes of The Scorpion Show. That uh, Kevin and Mikhail, they are the um, originators that I saw. I know th there's been a million who've used the talk space and all that. But um, I love them doing hot topics. I love their takes and they, they're still doing it. They're still out there. Shout out to Kevin Simmons and Mikkel. Like, you guys are still out there. You guys are still crushing it and killing it and doing amazing things. So, you know, that that is what got me interested in coming on camera and all that. But, and it was back in those days that I really made attempts to try to do a Hot Topics medium. <laughs> and... Yeah, that it, <laughs> I just couldn't get comfortable. I couldn't get comfortable. And I realize now, I realize now a thing, um, and I just couldn't get comfortable doing it. So my videos were all spaced apart. I was always trying new different things and trying to change my approach, trying to change this and that. Um, <laughs> trying to change this and that. I do not like editing at all which also makes this being a year old a blessing. <laughs> I do not like editing. I'm passable with it, I'm okay at it, and I can tolerate it for, a... you got a few hours of me being really good and really into it. After that, we gotta do something else. But anyway, <laughs> um, but back in those days, I did not want to devote entire days of editing videos that were already done. Um, and so that slowed me down. But what worked on my editing skills, what worked on my editing, getting good at it and getting passionate about it was me doing fan videos, uh, music videos that I or other creators that I would that I would make from other clips of videos, usually for me around the era of the song by the artist I'm making a fan video for. So if you don't know what a fan video is, a fan video is basically, it's a song that's not released as a single and you use clips and photo shoot things and all kinds of other performance things to make a cohesive music video for the song that has no performance or music video. And I've done a lot of those. On my original channel, I've done a lot. And 
after I finish filming this, I'm going to actually be reacting to the first one I really worked hard on. The first one I really worked hard on, which was Janet Jackson's Lonely off of her Rhythm Nation album. And um, I haven't seen that in so long, but that was the first I worked weeks on that. And I still remember at the end, I wasn't that pleased, but I got better with it. I got better with the fan made edits all the while. A lot of things have happened be behind the scenes of those. Um, I started doing voiceover with a group. Uh, we called ourselves TLP, <laughs> the Legends panel. On the Legends panel, I voiced Mariah Carey, Wendy Williams, Justin Timberlake. And, um, and then in real life, I also was getting into acting. I was also really going to auditions, getting getting little things here and there. I started working with small come up groups and all that kind of stuff and independent uh, filming things anyway. And I love that. Acting is very much my passion. Getting into characters, coming up with characters, acting and writing both. Um, coming up with characters, coming up with scenarios, improv. I love improv. I was doing a little bit of improv performances too in the LA scene. Um, not a ton, not a ton. I didn't get to immerse myself the way I'd like to because of work. All the while, 18, 2019 is when I really tried to get back into this being on camera again and really tried to devote into what that would be like. But it just wouldn't work out. And then the pandemic came and I saw a lot of people who I'm friends with and who are in my life and they were just doing it. They were just popping up and getting a ton of subscribers, getting a ton of like, not only the, the subscriber thing, I was, I like the idea of using this as a voice. I like this idea of using this as a communication tool. And I really wanted that because that's a part of me as a performer on all levels is I like expressing myself for people to see people to engage with <laughs> whether it is through a character or whether it is absolutely me and my wig changing self <laughs> so that i wanted that i wanted to bring something to people that would engage us in conversation understanding learning together maybe i help you understand something maybe you guys in the comments help me learn something i love that that's my thing period no matter what realm i'm doing period and um 2020, I got really into reaction videos. I had never paid attention to reaction videos the way I started to in 2020, like ever. It was not a thing <laughs> for me. Um, but channels, like, whew, but yeah, Jack Reacts, the, the Rob Squad reactions, and Derek reactions are some of my favorites. And the, just see, they're real people, they're real, you know, and along the way, there were others who came along, like shout out to Jay Maxwell, who um, I very much credit him as also getting me, you know, really into this and getting inspired because he started reacting to the Legends panel. I think that that's the only way that was my first intro to reactions where people reacting to what I already did with the Legends panel. And I love that. I love seeing you guys. It's nothing like with the Legends panel, with doing voiceover and writing these scripts, it is nothing in the world like slaving over these scripts, slaving over doing these vocals and retakes and this and that, and, oh, is this going to sound funny? Is this going to, does this even work? And then you see a visual of someone watching this for the first time and laughing and dying. And I love that. I love that very much. So, Jay Maxwell, I very much appreciate you. And every other person who's reacted to the Legends panel, it's not a huge list, but it's it's a big list. And I watched them all, and I appreciate them all. And Trey McClaw, too. Like, I really, really dig his style. And it just, reactions really showed me this is this is what I like because I'm a, I'm a reactor naturally. Like I say in my videos, you put something, you put good music on I never heard before or a song I have heard before, I'm going to have a reaction, period. <laughs> and um, same with movies, same with TV shows. I haven't figured out. Well, me and movies and TV show reactors, that's not going to happen until I get a more comfortable chair. That's just that. <laughs> that's how that's going to go. No, no extremely. That's why my live streams are only over an hour max they're never gonna they're not gonna be two hours while i'm still in this chair so anyway um importantly though my advice for anyone who is considering this field who's considering doing this 
putting up the cameras, getting the lights, and uh, sitting in front of the audience. It is not as easy as it sounds, as it looks, because it is. E this part is the easy part. Me recording this right now is the easy part, and that ain't even that easy. Do you know how weird it is to talk to a camera like it's a person in an empty room? It ain't that easy. <laughs> it is not. At least for adults. I want to say I feel like teenagers and maybe people in their early 20s, I think they're a little bit easier at going with it. I'm in my early 30s. This is weird. <laughs> This is it's a little weird for me, <laughs> but um, when you do your own editing, when you do when you do your own editing, and maybe you're like me, um, you can be your worst enemy. You can pick yourself apart. You can you can be terrible to yourself. You can say you can say the most hurtful things about what you're doing and how you're doing it, and it makes you not want to do that. I made up in my mind that in May 2020, I made this up in March 2020, in May, I was going to launch this channel, do these kind of videos, and just flourish with the quarantine crew of reactors and YouTube posters who were, we were all using that time to connect and to try, to try to find something and, and entertainers we were just trying to put stuff out there to get that entertainment bug out of us i recorded so many videos you guys i recorded a lot i, I count it now i recorded 17 videos just in 2020 alone um they're not good but they're not good because I was doubting myself the entire time. I was too in my head about every single thing the entire time. And then when I would pull those videos to, up to edit, I was so terrible to myself. I I have I have anxiety issues with like self hate, self worth, all that kind of stuff. I'm better. I'm much better now. I it took a lot of work to get here. It I have to be better to get here to be here right now. One year later all these subscribers, all these videos. I'm over 500 videos now. Um, over 500 videos posted. <laughs> but my advice to the people who are curious about this, wanting to get into this, you got to be very clear about your vision. You got to be very clear about and putting yourself out there, putting your real, honest, true self out there. It is not easy. And and this it what's so funny is some of you right now, oh yeah, I'd be I'd be good at that. I'd be pretty good. You don't even know until not not there when you sit in the chair and the lights are hot on your wig and stuff, it might it might, you know, still seem a little bit challenging. The real challenge is when you watch that footage back, when you hear yourself back, and I've said it in videos before when I kind of talked about this, where it's like the hard part for me in this and also being an actor is I love being a character. I would love to do this as a character, a character named Smokey with the brown chestnut hair born in the streets of New York. <laughs> Something stupid like that. I don't know. I like that kind of stuff. I like coming up with a character and just giving it away um, and just letting it come out and perform. But um, you have to be very clear with you if you're going to present you and that's hard that's hard at least it was for me maybe i hope it's not for you but i know a lot of people it is hard for so you know just consider that just practice it i look at all 17 of those videos as my practice videos they will never come out <laughs> but and it's and it's like it's the thing of um like i say it's the thing of you got to love yourself and for me it's the thing of it's not that i was bad is that i was overthink i was i was a little bad but <laughs> i was overthinking and i was looking for an out i was looking for a way to be performance about it but i found i had to let go i had to put the cameras on put the lights on have the monitor I'm looking at myself <laughs> and not shut off, shut off that inner editor because that inner, that inner editor can over direct, can over, can over edit, you know, right now my videos still have a little bit more edits in them than I kind of want. And it's because I, I'm a natural director editor in a sense. And so when I talk, 
I'm always in a state of correcting myself and I'm getting better with that. And I'm pushing myself to get better with that. And we should always be pushing ourselves to get better with our stuff. So that's, you know, that's my advice on that. Um, I'm also going to do a second video, um, to be determined to be released soon. <laughs> um, but I want to, I want to detail. I also put a bet on myself with doing this with what does it look like to be a reactor and not even just the reactor, but a YouTuber like this and actually be in the YouTube partnership program. Is it, is it possible? The answer is yes. <laughs> and I found out how I found out how and how many months and you know what you have to do. And I'm going to, I'm going to do a video telling my process, not giving everything away, <laughs> but giving some really helpful tips, things I wish I knew beforehand. And I, I studied a lot before embarking on this as a side career thing, as a, as a, you know, monetary thing. I just, I studied a lot before getting into this, but there's still some things that either weren't made clear that I wish I knew beforehand or that I just, I would love to pass on to anyone who's willing to listen and learn. So anyway, come a long way. Like I said, over 500 videos filmed. I don't know how many have been uploaded because a few of them have been removed <laughs> and a few of them are still uploaded, but are blocked and are available to see on Patreon. Shout out to my patrons too. Oh my God. Patreon, you guys, uh, absolutely has saved me too. Absolutely means the world to me. It's a lot. It's a lot. And there's so much more. I keep saying, and something that I debate in my mind, whether I do want to make this JFro90 reacts or just keep it as is um, a channel. And I'm going to keep it as is. I want this channel to be like a network of different genres. So reaction is the base level one. And, it, and I like that because I feel like this is universal. This is letting you guys get to know me through music, through music I both know and know about and music I'm curious to learn about. And I want that to pull you in and I want that to, you know, get you to get you to get to know me a bit more and my travels, my weird, <laughs> crazy life and interests. And I got a lot, I got a lot that I want to do. I want to express through this channel. Uh, there's a lot I want to express off of this channel back in the acting medium. And life is crazy. Life has a lot in store and I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about it. And I'm excited to have you guys on board. Those of you who are, and just those of you who've been consistently with this journey, who've been consistently in those comments. You mean everything to me, every single thing. A uh, shout out, especially to my sisters, Jessica and Kier, who have been with me with this pretty early too. <laughs> I kept this away from my family for a very good amount of time, <laughs> just because my, my thing is, if I'm going to bring it to the family, it better be good. And I feel like I kept this away until it was good. So um, shout out to my best friend, Gianna, who's also been a part of this journey with me for a very long time. And um, just thank you. I'm looking forward to looking back on this video next year and two years later and like, oh, God, you thought you knew so much, but you have so much more to learn. <laughs> it's what we do. It's what we do. You're only one year in it and only 2,000 subscribers. Jeez, Cheryl. But <laughs> but I've learned, a, I've, I've learned enough to reach behind, which I think is very important for any industry. I've learned enough to, I want to help others who are maybe on the edge of trying this out. I got my hand to you, you know, come on, <laughs> you can do this. Let's go get this. Let's go get this together. There's enough room for everybody. I don't want to hear about oversaturation. I heard that before, of uh, um, reaction videos. Oh, it's, uh, it's oversaturation. No, it's not because not all reactors are exactly the same. Not all reactors have exactly the same taste, exactly the same, uh, styles. I have not seen another reactor change wigs as much as I have. You know, have you, have you, have you, I didn't think so. So, um, you know, we all don't have the same schedules. We all, you know, 
there's something for everyone and there's room for everyone everyone who wants a part of this space let's get it while it can be done you know so anyway and i i know for sure just because i'm a reactor don't think i'm not subscribed to pretty much every channel i just mentioned <laughs> you know and um Again, just thank you all very much for your cons your consistent support. Let me know any questions below, any questions or anything you want me to include in the video about my journey, about my journey to YouTube partnership and that kind of thing. Let me know that in the comments and I'll be sure to address that in the video. I'm gonna film this week and it should be up by this weekend. So let me know that. And again, thank you to every one of you who are watching this unusual, this different video. But there there have been meaning to be different types of videos for a minute. Like I say, I'm just really comfortable editing reaction videos now. I got that down to a 30 minute process. This one's gonna take a bit of time. So anyway, <laughs> thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Again, I'll say it, I'll say it to the end of time. Every single person who pressed play on this video, I appreciate you all. And beyond every single thing else, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. I can feel